all sim racers and welcome to this video where we gonna be looking at the new Fanatec CSL load cell kit for the CSL pedals <laughs> we're gonna check it out because the load cell kit is a bit anticipated from everyone because of the price of the pedals because these pedals are pretty good pricey and now we have a load cell pedal which was very anticipated from everyone and my community especially so yeah we're gonna take a first look we're gonna check it out do i don't know a little comparison to my csl elite kit which i also have here and maybe you're gonna compare it to we free pedals so yeah like the most anticipated about this thing is definitely the price and yeah let's go into it so what i'm gonna use is basically everything for these pedals i have a csl pedals I have a CSL pedals load kit and I have a CSL tuning kit to make it look a bit more better and we're gonna assemble it and we're gonna test it with the CSL DD. So here we are with Fanatec CSL load cell kit. The standard price looks around 139 euros slash dollars plus obviously the pedals itself so we are around 200 euros slash dollars on the entry level CSL kit pedals with the load cell on the market which i would say is very interesting price because v3 pedals are like triple four times almost the price like this so pretty good deal the pedals are obviously heavy metal heavy metal steel you have 60 kilogram custom design load cell sensor uh, you can change the sensitivity obviously to 10 kilograms minimum via tuning menu or front of the control panel you can change the basic plastic plates with the metal i think they're going to be available on a fanatec website in the future Obviously right now we have a Black Friday deal coming up on Fanatec. There's gonna be a little bit of prices. I think it's gonna be load cell kit itself. It's gonna be around 119 euros slash dollars. And the whole CSL pedals plus the load cell is gonna be around 199 dollars slash euros. So here we have the pedal itself, it, I must say it's pretty heavy, <laughs> I'm a bit surprised. So the pedal looks pretty cool, we can remove the, this is plastic by the way, this is plastic, you can remove it and put the, the metal, uh, metal thing there and you can also adjust it, adjust the size of it, if I'm correct, yes, you can put it like lower or higher, or yeah, lower and higher basically, and if you use the other pedals, you can do the same thing, uh, with the metal pedals. Uh, I must say from the from uh, the package, this is... <laughs> this is pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy, guys. This is pretty heavy. I I'm not gonna lie. Like, the, the, the fuel, this is more than 60 kilos. <laughs> so yeah, so basically to adjust everything, you have these rubber, rubber things. Can I focus? You can basically... All right, I think it's time to assemble it all together, you know, put the, take the pedal and put it all together. <laughs> I made a huge error, I took it apart, guys, this part, and you have to, like, open it, you know, like, open it wide, and I couldn't put it back together because I'm weak, you know? Mm, weak! <laughs> ah, good. So, I assemble the pedals, and voila! Sorry for a little bit of dust and everything, but here are the pedals with the plates. It looks pretty good, I would say. Pretty heavy, to be honest. A bit heavy. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Everything connected. I'm perfect in the cable management, as you can see. Absolutely flawless cable management from my side. Flawless. So, as you can see, everything is uh, metallic, except the between part between the pedal and uh, the base. I don't know why, but I, I think it doesn't matter, right, if this is plastic or metal. So this is only only little difference that everything is metal, metallic, and then obviously you have the load cell, those rubbery, rubbery brands, bands, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna install it and test it. Yeah, also, yeah, I wanted to say it right at the beginning, uh, actually. A uh, little comparison with the CSL Elite. So obviously the color is <laughs> the base of the color and everything. Uh, silver, black, black with the Fanatec logo. Uh, I think this part could have been black, you know, like spray out. Same as the CSL Elite old pedals because I really liked it. 
Uh, these are really nice because you can adjust the height and everything compared to CSL Elite. So I kind of like how like adjustable it is. You can put it as a, as where you want. It's basically what I'm using. As you can see, I have a throttle and the brake. Uh, I'm trying to put it more in the middle because I can't adjust it in a rig and clutch all the way to the side. So basically I want these pedals to be a little bit closer. And yeah, that's it. I would say compared to CSL Elite, the previous version, like it looks cleaner and more adjustable. That's basically it. Only thing I actually prefer is that you have these metallic plates because guys, in a package as a default, as a package in a default, you have these, which are plastic. Uh, if they would be rubber, it would be a million times better. So maybe in the future, Fanatec, uh, if you would create these as a rubber and then metallic, it would be so much better than plastic and uh, metallic. Because on the CSL Elite, on the old ones, old CSL Elite pedals, you basically can see like nice made black color, you know? And these are a bit of like rubber, like hard rubber. And it looks cool, you know? The only negative, these pedals were not adjustable. You couldn't do anything with the pedals. Nothing was adjustable, except like movement on the side. But I really like on these new pedals, you can adjust the height. Because for me, it's very important because uh, I like to have the, the plates lower than higher because I'm literally using fingers on those metal plates. <laughs> so I actually prefer that. And you can put it to the sides, which is also very nice, you know? So I would say compared to CSL Elite, I would say improvement, improvement than this, except, except these default, default ones, you know, these defaults are useless, literally, absolutely useless, you know, so use the metallic ones, better, also looks better. So we have the pedals connected, I have the pedals connected directly into the base, I'm using CSLDD, and I'm using the classic Fanatec menu, not the, the funnel up. And in the tuning menu, you can adjust those pedals very easily. Like I have the pedals, as you can see, connected very nicely, very easy. And you can change the sensitivity. If you press the but the small tiny button for tuning menu on a wheel, you can adjust the sensitivity. So it make it like more and less sensitive, the pedal itself. And it works pretty nice. You can adjust it while driving, you can adjust it right away. So yeah, pretty easy right there. So let's go on a track. I assume one of the first thing you can notice that I have a dog because my socks are completely from the fur. <laughs> so sorry for that guys. Yeah, but basically, honestly guys, the first thing you can notice when you're driving with the load cell pedal right away, right at the beginning is the pedal is so heavy. It's literally the, <laughs> it's literally the craziest thing when uh, you, you, you switch to load cell pedal because honestly guys for the first two weeks the pedal is gonna be so heavy for you your left leg will or depends which you are using for raking will be feeling or will be muscular like a gladiator you know <laughs> so yeah i can definitely notice guys the throttle pedal is fantastic by the way absolutely fantastic with this uh, metal metal top but oh even with the if the previous one the plastic one was good as well but the brake guys, I can tell, it's really stiff. It's very stiff for me right now. It's maybe too stiff a little bit for me. Uh, but I believe in like a week it's gonna be way, way better, you know, because the pedal gets a tiny, tiny bit softer with my own experience from CSL Elite. But it feels really good, guys. It feels really, really good right at the beginning. I can, I can, I, I kind of like that I can change it on a wheel, the sensitivity and everything, but yeah. I'm not 100% sure how is it with uh, with changing the stiffness of the pedal itself. You, you have those uh, low, low rubber rings and I'm not 100% sure if you can like change them or update them or stuff like that. I definitely will let you know if I can in the comments or later during the video if I will have that confirmed. Because I remember on the CSL Elite, you could replace them. It was like, you could make them softer and such, but maybe here it's a little bit different. But just like a little, I, as you can see, I can drive normally with no headphones, nothing. I can drive very nicely right away with, the, with it, because I'm used to the load cell pedal. And I kind of like how stiff it is, but at the same time, my left leg is already getting numb. <laughs> uh, one thing, uh, one thing I would say, those, I'm using those metal plates instead of the default plastic ones and my little issue sometimes, not always, when I break is that I have a brand new socks and maybe those brand new socks, even though they doesn't look like it, they are a bit slippery sometimes 
So maybe these metal plates are a little bit better when you are using uh, a shoes, for example, you know? I don't know. But yeah, the brake itself is really good, guys. I don't know even how to say it. It really feels good. I mean, it, as you can see, I'm driving normally. It's a load cell pedal, you know? The only, like, it's not a negative, but it's a thing I uh, noticed because I'm using way softer brake on my CSL, uh, uh, sorry, on my V3 that the brake pedal is really, really stiff, you know, so I'm not like 100% used to it and my left leg hurts. <laughs> but otherwise, pretty damn good, like all the pedals and everything feels really, really good, guys. I would say the initial experience or initial, like, first impression I have better than I had on my CSL Elite, you know, overall. Especially like the throttle and such, it's like so nice to have it adaptive, like you can put the pedals exactly where you want to, and so on. Oh shit, I thought I missed the corner. Um, one thing though, because the pedal is extremely stiff, I really wouldn't recommend buying this load cell pedal to people who don't have the rake, or if or those who don't have like a fixed position. Because I really need to put it's a 60 kilo pedal. I'm using like 40% now, so 50%, so I would say like 70% I'm using like 40% 40 kilo 40 kilo force and I still feel like without like obviously without the rig I would be going backwards you know and such so it's very important to take that in mind but otherwise it feels really good like, I would say well done to Final Take because I can drive very naturally you know right away so yeah good job send it send it oh heavy break heavy break Send it and miss the corner, Danny. So overall, I would say, guys, I'm pretty happy with the pedals because I feel like for the price, they are giving a lot. You know, like I wouldn't say they are the same as my V3 at all. Like the the, the Club Sport V3 pedals are like here. Uh, here we have the the new CSL, and around here we have the CSL Elite. You know, if you have a CSL Elite, I wouldn't upgrade if you don't have to. But obviously, the new CSL feels really good. I would say the best thing about it, obviously, is everything is metal. Like 90% stuff is the metal, which I think is something that customers really want. And uh, the metallic plate feels nice. It's a really shame that instead of those plastic plates at the beginning, while, like as a default, basically, when you buy the pedals, you have the, 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 those plastic ones. It's kind of a shame because it would be so cool if they would be rubber. Uh, but it is how it is, you know, so I would really recommend like if you if you want a little bit better upgrade I, I recommend going for the for the metallic ones if you are using shoes for example I would recommend going for the metallic ones if you are using socks I would probably keep the the plastics because they have like a good grip, but the, 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 the rubber will be better, you know, but the rest is fantastic You know the the pedal is very stiff you can change it in a tuning menu very easily if you have a wheel You can do it like on the wheel itself right away you can change the, the sensitivity, which is kind of nice as well. Uh, don't get scared. If you get the load cell at the beginning, uh, it's literally for the first few days. It's super stiff. Your leg will hurt. <laughs> Your leg will get numb, you know. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And guys, don't forget, by the way, this video is releasing on 19th of November. Next week, on November 26th, there's going to be Black Friday. So first of all, guys, if, if you would like to, if you are buying something from Fanatec and would like to support my channel, you can use the link below the video description as like, thank you for like, as it just, if you like my channel, you can just support me a little bit using the link and there's going to be some nice prices, some nice deals on the stuff and also the load cell kit and load cell standard and also the CSL and load cell bundle will be on a little better price. So make sure to check it out, guys. If you have the pedals already and you would like to upgrade to the load cell, Definitely I recommend it, but 100% guys, I would recommend only if you have a rig. Uh, the load cell on these pedals is really stiff, really stiff. I cannot imagine in any way possible using that without a rig or anything like solid sitting. Because when you have to put the 60 kilo or 50 kilo pressure on the pedal, it's impossible without a rig or proper firm seat, you know, 8020 aluminium rig or normal rig, some GT Omega or something, you know, uh, just... Having normal desk and the load cell, absolutely no, guys. I, I don't think it would work at all, you know, from from what I, as much pressure I had as I had to do into use with the pedals, you know. 
So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, the connection was basically super simple. I just connected to the base, or you can connect it to the PC if you want. Plug and play almost, download the Fanatec, and just, you know, you can, you're good to go, you know? So super, super simple. When I was adjusting the pedals, it wasn't too hard. Just connect the cables, all the screws and everything. Literally super easy. It took me five minutes to put everything together. So well done there. And the price, guys, uh, I don't want to say the price exactly because I think the standard price is around 139 euros slash dollars. It really depends where you are. And the whole bundle uh, is like 200, but I'm not sure about the Black Friday, you know, maybe 200 is just the Black Friday. So it might be a little higher. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, you know, but I would still say on the price on the market is pretty good deal for entry product. And yeah. Let me guys, let me know, uh, guys know what you what you think, and yeah, see you guys next time. And thank you so much, Fanatec, for sending those pedals to test. So thank you so much.